guys, it's Conver Horse, and today I'm going to be drawing my Schleich Tennessee Walker family. Okay, let's get started. I Here I am drawing the mare, and I actually am only drawing two horses. And, well, I am not drawing a family because I do not have the foal in this family. So, um, I try to draw the horses that I do have so I can model them on camera. But I do not have the foal, so it's just going to be this lonely couple. <laughs> So now I'm just going to continue with the outline and those little waves in the hair, you'll see me later erase those because the mane is a lighter color than the body, so you'll see me erase those. And I feel like this is less detailed than my very first drawing um, where I drew my Andalusian mare. I'll link that video down in the description down below. And... Um, I'm also drawing the gelding, I believe, after this, yep, and I'm just going to continue with that outline, and the names for these two, the mare, her name is Primrose, and the gelding here, his name is Casper, from my Schleich series. Now, you guys might not have seen all these horses I'm drawing from my Schleich series, but when I say Schleich series... That's just their names when I would be playing Schleich. In reality, you guys all know them by, like, um, Quarter Horse or, like, um, you know, like, all the breeds they are. Because we don't all have the same names for the horses. Okay, and I will be coloring everyone. Yep, and I'm just going to start with Primrose or the Tennessee Walker Mare. And I'm going in with, like, this very light tan but actually, I feel like lately my colored pencils have been, like, really streaky. So, I might be thinking about doing this digitally. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm... I don't know. So, I'm just gonna continue. And the muzzle was actually a dark brown. And I tried to make, like, the legs more of a light gradient to a dark -er tan once it hits, like, the body. So, the legs didn't really come out all nice and blendy, but that's okay. I am drawing two horses for you guys, not just one. I might draw just one next time, though. I don't know if I will be drawing horses next time. It might be a surprise. <laughs> so, um, I did take away this, like, black outline around the hair. It's kind of black on camera, but in reality, it's, like, a darker brown. And, um... So, Casper, my gelding, he is actually a black, so I was wondering what color I should do for him. Uh, but I just settled on doing a very, very dark brown, which you'll see me coloring right now. And, uh, I outlined it with some, like, dark black, but the black and the very dark brown kind of, like, looked exactly the same if the dark brown was pressed onto the paper too hard. So, I just lightened that up a bit with an eraser, which you'll see in a few moments. And he has one cute little sock, which, in my last video, the horses all had little socks on them. And he has, like, this little face marking. And, again, you can see how the colored pencils are a little streaky, so maybe I'll have to try, like, a different type next time, and, yeah, I'll see how it is. And I'm adding a little shine to the, like, hooves, and I think it looks really cute, and I'm just gonna continue blending and making sure it's not too streaky. I really tried my hardest. Don't be fooled by editing. This did take me, like, half an hour or more. So, yeah, I shrunk that into, like, five minutes about. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. And, yeah, you can see what I said earlier. I am erasing so you can tell where the mane is. And now I'm starting to go in for the tail. And, yeah, it looks really good so far. Thank you for watching. Bye.